my explanation of gratitude would do justice. I mean, I can be as, I can say thank you, I can say this means a lot until I'm blue in the face, but it won't. Matt Dethridge lost both of his legs below the knees while serving in Afghanistan. And as nine on your side, Tony Morona shows us tonight that new home is about much more than just a new building. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't deserve this big ceremony. He is modest. I try to just kind of just play it off. You know, I'm just a normal guy, just like you, and uh, that's that's the way that I like it. Local fire departments don't hang flags from the ladder truck for regular folk. It raises awareness and it, it brings to the public conscience of the, the human sacrifice of the American soldier. Matt Dethridge's sacrifice was his lower legs. I step on it, boom, blow me up like, I think it was like six or seven feet, I don't know. An IED exploded while he was in Afghanistan, catapulting him through the air. The first thing that went through my head was, oh my God, I just lost both of my legs, I'm screwed. That was four years ago. Now he uses prosthetic legs and a wheelchair to get around. Um, I worry about him falling. Um, our bathroom is just not set up safe. Kelly, his wife, worries about his safety. Three. That's why the group Helping a Hero will build him a house for free. Thank you. It'll take anywhere from three to six months to build the home. It will be customized with extra wide hallways and specialized bathrooms, and the counters will be lower. So when he needs his wheelchair, he can get the things he needs. I think for everything that he's given for his country, he deserves the house that is being donated. His neighbors see what Matt goes through just getting his daughter in and out of the car. And I know that I am extremely grateful. Deathridge will soon have a safer home because he lost his legs keeping our homes safe. Tony Moronis, 9 on your side, Mainville.